Robots, drones, and artificial intelligence are pretty common, of course, in Silicon Valley. But now, investors want to use those technologies to transform traditional farms. Aditi Roy is in Burlingame, California, at the Agritech Innovation Summit, where tech and agriculture are all coming together. It's a bit odd to see dairy cows on farms wearing what looks like brightly colored necklaces. They're actually smart collars. Their makers say they can save farmers hundreds or even thousands of dollars per cow by detecting diseases before they become life-threatening or monitoring ovulation cycles to breed them more efficiently. Two different companies, Connectera and Y Combinator backed Kowlar, have come out with their own bovine devices. Both startups call themselves Fitbit for Cows. Livestock is just one area of agriculture that's being disrupted by tech. John Hamer is the managing director of Monsanto Growth Ventures. We're seeing more and more investment dollars coming into agriculture. And there's a unique aspect of that investment. It's backing entrepreneurs. Big ag companies like Monsanto and Dow have started their own VC arms to tap into the burst of innovation. Ag tech companies raised a record amount last year. And this year could top that, according to CB Insights. Some of the hottest companies include Drone Deploy, which makes software for drones to map out fields more precisely. And then there's Blue River Technology. The company uses cameras and computers to make lettuce bots to harvest the crop more efficiently. Industry watchers say startups can bring innovative solutions to market faster than large companies. They're going to be nimble, they're going to be fast, they're going to change direction quickly, they're not going to be sitting in meetings. Um, and it's exciting to work with those entrepreneurs because they'll tackle very, very challenging ideas. They don't have to have the whole answer before they get going. Farmers Business Network is part social network, part digital co-op for farmers to help them find the best prices for things like seed or fertilizer. One barrier entrepreneurs face is getting farmers to adopt their technology. Farmers Business Network dealt with that challenge by putting resources close to farmers, physically and virtually. We go and find the most innovative farmers. We will hire our own sales force. We use online marketing. We use our virtual, virtual store, our online store to be able to attract farmers' interest and then engage with them. Experts say part of the reason why we're seeing such an explosion of tech in agriculture is that the costs of technology are much lower, especially with innovations like cloud computing providing a backbone for many of these startups. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Aditi Roy, Burlingame, California.